The city of Lakeland recently made a large purchase to the tune of $300,000. This purchase was for use at the Lakeland Linder Regional Airport, but the city didn't buy a plane. They bought a fire truck. This is a Oshkosh Striker 1500. It has two main nozzles, a roof turret and a bumper turret. In addition to those two, we have two hand lines on either side of the truck. Also located underneath the truck are four sprinklers. In addition to that, we do have sprinklers that are located above the windshield. Okay. It also has the telescopic lights and the wide lights on the front of the truck. It also has Q-beams located on both the bumper and the roof turret. The Stryker 1500 isn't your average fire truck. At 10 feet wide, 13 feet tall, and 33 feet long, this 58,000 pound behemoth patrols aircraft emergencies and controlled burns at the airport. Although the truck can be driven by only one person, Terry Smart is the main operator of the Stryker. The uh, truck itself uh, will operate itself once you put it in the motions you're supposed to put it into, and uh, you gotta be very careful and be safety conscious of everything you do. Uh, you can run over things and hurt people or tear things up and not know it because the truck is so big. And as you can see, this fire truck is a prime example of tax dollars at work. And with tires that cost $2,500 a piece to replace, they're taking mighty good care of it. For ENN, I'm David Ward. Art Gecko, Lakeland's newest paint your own pottery studio, is the place to come for rest, relaxation, and of course, pottery painting. Located off of South Florida Avenue, just doors down from Champs and Tapatios, they offer a fun and unique atmosphere to create memories. You can choose from many pieces of pottery and paint, or you can create a mosaic piece. This is just one of over 200 pieces you can choose from, and all you have to pay is the price of the piece. There is no studio fee. Studio hours are Monday through Thursday, 11 to 6 p.m., Friday, 11 to 9 p.m., and Saturday, 10 to 9 p.m. They are closed on Sundays, but they are open later any other day by appointment. This is a fun place to come on Friday nights because it's affordable. We don't charge a studio fee, and it's fun, and there's not really that much going on in here. You just come sit down, and you have a fun time. So if you're looking for something affordable and one of a kind to do, call Art Gecko at 863-646-8282 or just stop by. For me, I want to have a family atmosphere, a place you can come, throw off your shoes, as long as your feet are clean. Paintball has been growing in popularity the past few years, and we're coming to you from Off the Wall Adventures at Shepherd Road just to find out what is making this new sport so interesting. The basics of paintball, if you've never played before, it is a pretty high adrenaline sport. It's a lot of fun. Um, everybody asks, does it hurt? Uh, the best thing I can say there is it feels like about getting popped with a rubber band. The program I'm going to give to George Jenkins High School is anybody that comes in uh, for the rest of the year, as of 2008, uh, any Saturday for the rest of the year, you guys get free field fee and all day admission. I want to let all of you know about our tournament that we're having uh, in January, January 3rd and 4th. It's going to be a 24-hour scenario event, and it's going to be themed after uh, the Batman movie. So it should be a lot of fun. I think it's, we're calling it Dark Knight 2, Joker's Revenge. What I like about paintball is the adrenaline rush, and it's just, it's just a fun game, but it's not good because, like, nobody really knows about it, and we need more people to come out. The number one safety rule in paintball, I have to say, is always wear your goggles. You don't want to get shot in the eye. You lose an eye, go blind. So, the next time that you have a Saturday free, just remember that Off the Wall Adventures offers a high adrenaline rush for discounted price for all Eagles. I'm Jonathan Nunes from ENN. The Florida Strawberry Festival has been around since the 1930s, making it a true staple of Plant City history. Over the years, the festival has seen much growth. Today, the entertainment options are overwhelming. The Midway consists of over 100 rides, ranging from those that are sure to give you an adrenaline rush to the classic Ferris wheel. Here you can also find more food than your stomach can handle. 
There's fried food, junk food, and plenty of sweets. Concerts this year included artist Third Day and Taylor Swift. Among other things, the festival also offers a wide variety of exhibits, made up of everything from livestock to experiencing different cultures. So as you can see, the Strawberry Festival has something for everyone. So come be a part of this Plant City tradition. The festival will be here until March 8th. We all love something for nothing. Wouldn't it be great to make phone calls around the world for free? With Skype, you can do just that using a broadband internet connection. The innovative software allows you to chat away with free Skype to Skype calls and never worry about cost, time, or distance. All you have to do is download Skype on any personal computer and start talking away with a USB phone or any other headset. You can also make high resolution video calls, group chats, and conference calls up to 25 people. I work for the Insurance Journal. I'm the Southeast Sales Manager. We're a national magazine and online website, and I sell advertising space and work with the advertising buys and programs. The way we use Skype, uh, our, our company is spread out throughout, throughout the United States, and we use the instant message system while we're working as a means of quick communications and a way to pass files. Another really cool way we use Skype is when I'm on a big conference call um, with, say, the president of my company, the president of another company, and their um, advertising team, and we're trying to close a big deal, we'll kind of chat behind their backs using Skype while we're talking on the phone. And uh, it's really useful resource uh, for our company as a whole. In fact, you might already have the software and not even know. The PSP and MySpace IM already have this feature built in. Also, Google is even thinking about putting Skype in the G1 Android operating system. With today's technology, this is one example how communication can be easier and cheaper for its consumers. Ryan Elliott, ENN. The University of South Florida was founded in 1956 as the first public university established specifically to address Florida's growing urban regions. The backbone of USF's success is their very prestigious medical center. Ranked among the top 50 medical schools in the country, the school's Communication Sciences and Disorders Center is backed by the American Cancer Society. The school's athletic program, located off of Bull Run Drive, houses the nationally recognized football team, ranked number two in the nation in 2007. With over 46,000 students currently enrolled and over $300 million set aside for construction, the University of South Florida continues to grow. And with its already excellent reputation both inside and outside of the classroom, USF might just be the school for you. And now let's go to Rachel Majors with an ESN update. They're playful, lovable, and without families. Currently, the SPCA is temporarily home to over 300 cats and dogs. And due to the falling economy, this number rises daily. The economy has definitely had an effect on the intake of animals that we have. Um, usually every year we take in roughly 10,000 animals. Um, over the past couple months, I'd say that one of the main reasons is because people have been moving. So obviously that's due to the economy. Maybe they've had a house previously, now they're moving into an apartment or something like that. So um, that's definitely caused an increase over the past couple months in the intake of animals. Many animals have been at the SPCA for an extended period of time. Baby, an eight-year-old lab terrier mix who loves to play and swim, has been at the SPCA for more than five months. Dreamy, a four-year-old short hair mix who loves to cuddle and climb, has been there just as long. If you think you can provide a loving family for Baby or other animals in her situation, please come and visit the SPCA. Open Monday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m., and Sunday, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m., it's a great place to find a loving friend. This is Aaron Carpenter reporting for ENN.
At Rita's Italian Ice on Griffin Road, customers usually come for a lively, cheerful atmosphere and a delicious variety of frozen treats. With creamy Italian ice, custard, thick delicious shakes, and more, it's no wonder Rita's has a following. But this Tuesday, guests will have another, more musical reason to hit up the shop. On March 3rd, Rita's Italian Ice is hosting an open mic night. It's a variety-packed show featuring acoustic acts from local musicians Bryce Mahoney and Nathan Reinstadl are members of just one of the bands playing that night. We are doing a show at Rita's Italian Ice on EF Griffin Road off of Bartow Road. It's from 6 to 8. We're playing at 7. We just want to let you guys know that March 3rd they're going to come out and they're going to do a show. I'm Nathan from Rejected Silence. Uh, we have a show coming up at Rita's Ice. We are pretty much just an indie hardcore band for the most part. 20 of our bands will tune their guitars and step up to the mic, making it a perfect time to chill with friends and enjoy some mouth-watering treats. Hi, this is Jane from Rita's, and we're inviting you to join us for our open mic night on Tuesday. We're going to have tons of bands, maybe 20 or so. It's going to be a nice, chill, relaxing atmosphere with tons of kids from our local high school in Bartow. We'll have drums, as you can see over here, our set, and guitars. You can have ice cream, just chill, just kind of relax, have a good evening, and we just want you to come on down and take advantage of it. As you can see, this night is bound to be a great one. Stop by March 3rd at 6 p.m. for fresh local music. The event is come as you go and completely free, so be sure to check it out this Tuesday for a fusion of fun, friends, and sweet frozen treats, not to mention acoustic acts you won't want to miss. When you mix quartz, creativity, and cases with today's technology and plenty of fun to spare, you get the Law Academy. The Law Academy is a perfect place for students fascinated with all things. Well, law. The Flourishing New program offers five distinct pathways for students, such as real estate, lawyer, paralegal, and legal administrative specialist. Headed up by Mr. Wilder and Mrs. Salas, the Academy provides students with career and college opportunities in the field of law, not to mention a variety of immersive and fun extracurricular activities. It's a place where students can't help to be proud of. We have mock trials. We uh, have a jury, a judge, a defendant's case set up. We go through trials. We learn how a lawyer would work. This is be the first year that we have all this equipment and set up so forth so we could continue on in educating in the Law Academy. With clubs like the Mock Trial Team and the Law Club, this program shows no signs of slowing down. The George Lincoln's Law Academy also offers benefits that can be earned inside the classroom. Under the right circumstances, students even have the potential to earn college credit for their efforts. I'm a teacher in the Academy of Legal Studies and um, I'm also the director of the Academy. We just acquired a new courtroom for uh, the Academy of Legal Studies and we wanted a dedication ceremony so we had a lot of dignitaries here to come and help us celebrate the opening of the courtroom. For even more information on the Law Academy and how you can apply, head over to the official website or even visiting the Academy room yourself in Building 4. One thing's for sure, for the Law Academy, it seems that this year is going to be a great one. Twenty minutes. Load. Start. Last Thursday, the GJHS rifle team won their first ever victory over Auburndale High School at Saddle Creek Gun Range. This upset ended Auburndale's impressive 10-year winning streak. Sergeant Major Holland explains exactly how these competitions work. Now, we compete against every school within the county, but each school goes to different shooting ranges depending on what part of town they live in. So you From there, the results are determined by a single JROTC officer. Although the county results are not yet finalized, our team's prospects for carrying this month's county title look promising. Safety is always first while in the rifle range. Cadet Kyle Palmer explains the safety procedures which are paramount at all times. We uh, use MAT which stands for Muzzle Action Trigger. Uh, first we just control the muzzle, make sure it's pointed in a safe direction downrange or up. And then we uh, always make sure our actions are open unless we're actually engaged in firing. And we only put our finger on the trigger when we're aiming directly at the target. Now having defeated their longtime rival, the team sets their sights on their next competition on November 13th. Todd Kuzma for ENN News.